I give that my dues point, Katrina on holiday. Because today is the day. Oh, it's like camp Christmas, isn't it? Today is Eurovision. And we at Radio 2 super excited about it, as we should be. I love Eurovision. I've always loved Eurovision to be part of it this year. Well, I've said the word excited far too much this morning, but you know what I'm thinking. Uh, what we're doing on Radio 2 today, from one, Michelle Vazar, just counting down the top 50 most streamed songs from the competition at three. Rylan and Scott, they're going to be live in Turin, uh, getting all the gossip from backstage. Sophie Ellis Baxter has a special Eurodance Kitchen disco from six. Then Kennedy Bruce, the Popmaster General, a live commentary of the grand final from eight, flying the flag for our UK entry, Sam Ryder, who's hoping to be the first winner of Eurovision for 25 years. 25 years since Katrina and the Waves won with Love Shines a Light. And she's here this morning. Good morning, Katrina. Good morning, OJ. Oh. 25 years. Oh. I know. God, I, there was, I've been reminded nonstop this year that it's been 25 years. I can scarcely believe it myself. Can you? No. I mean, I remember you winning. It was such a moment. Does it feel like 25 years? Well, no, I you know it's like I said, I keep being reminded, which, you, you know, it's, it's like a time capsule. And it's as fresh in my mind today as it was 25 years ago, that fabulous win in Dublin, Ireland, where it was just, I mean, you can tell, I look at some of the photographs from the night and I just look like I'm astonished. <laughs> Well, well, because I think, you know, everybody kept saying you can't win. You can't win because of political voting. Well, look what you did. I just want to make sure I've got the right Katrina, if that's OK. Can I ask you some questions just to make sure we've got the right Katrina? I don't want to make a mistake here this morning. Sure. Are you ready? Uh, are you the Katrina who grew up in the US and was inspired by the West Coast sound? Yes. Are you the Katrina who won Eurovision with the largest ever points margin? Yes. Are you the Katrina who once saw Terry Wogan, Sir Terry Wogan, with a pint of Guinness in one hand, a glass of champagne in the other hand, and an Irish whiskey balanced on his head? Yes. What's the story with that? Well, the story is that Terry said all along, forget about the political voting. This is the song that's going to do it. And he had a secret ambition for the song. He really did. And we used to have little chats about it. And he said, just be confident. Be very strong. This song is going to win. Forget what anybody else says. So when we did win, and I looked up at the balcony where Terry had been broadcasting in Dublin, in the point, the second after we won, I looked up at him. And honestly, this was the scene. He was balancing every drink he could get on his head, <laughs> cheersing, screaming. I mean, you can't believe the atmosphere in the hall when we won. It was extraordinary because it was in Ireland, so there were a lot of people from the UK there, and we were getting loads of support from Ireland. Well, it's one of those competitions that you have to have the song, but you also, it also has to be a ton of other things. Everything has to go right for you on the night, the stage and the performance, and everyone has to love what you did, and they loved you. And when you first heard Love Shine a Lie, when, when that song was first put up to be a Eurovision song, did you think, hey, this is, this is a winner, we know we've got something good here? Well, no, because I'd never seen Eurovision, <gasps> OJ. Had, had you I had not? no idea. No, I had not. Jonathan King came to us and he said, Do you have a song for this contest? The two English boys in the group said, Eurovision, yeah, we've got this song, Love Shine a Light, which we had written and produced for the Samaritans' 50th anniversary, you know, because it's uplifting, anthemic, feel good. Jonathan King took it and he said, It's brilliant. You guys are going to do it. Then because I didn't know anything about Eurovision. They said, spend a weekend looking at these 1,200 tapes of past Eurovisions and get your head around it. So they I thought I was going to... No, seriously, I thought I was going to throw myself out the window because I just thought, well, what in the world have we got ourselves into? But what I did think, I thought, but with Love, Shine a Light, I think we could actually win this. What years had they sent you on VHS then? All the old boom, bang, a bang. I mean, everything, the ridiculous dancing, the choreography... The cheesiness of it all is what I couldn't get over. But, you know, now when I was, you know how these Eurovision songs, they don't so much grow on you as lose their offensiveness. And now I look upon them with, with, uh, with a great love in my heart. And I actually, the cheesier, the better. I've been watching the semifinals and the ones that I really like are the cheesy ones. Well, you know, too many dreary ballads. Well, yes, exactly. It's a celebration. I think when we all sit down and we listen or we watch Eurovision, it's those songs which give you that talking moment. And your song was so good and it's still a song and we're going to play it in a minute. It's one of those songs still that, that puts a smile on my face. How, how do you find the song now, considering it's been such a big part of your career because considering that you won Eurovision with it what's your relationship with the song like 
they actually used it for the Eurovision Song Contest during lockdown in 2020, and all of the countries took a line from the song, and it really brought out an emotional aspect of the song that I, I wasn't even aware of myself. And it's almost like since that time, every time I sing it and perform it, I'm a little bit moved by it myself because it is quite a moving song. And the testimony of the song, my God, if only we could all live by that in this crazy old world. Well, exactly that. Um, if you're right to hang on, I don't know if you've got something else to do. I want to play the song and chat a bit more, if that's OK, Katrina. I'm all yours, OJ. All right, well, stay there for me. Let's play the song if we've talked about it. Let's sing along to it. Love, shine a 